Right, right. folks it is friday and a happy friday to you uh not such a happy friday for me i'm i'm still waiting on my camera uh it was due to arrive yesterday and in fairness they did say it would be yesterday or there was a slim chance it'd be today um it's now what 4 p.m and there's still no sign of my camera um so i'm a little bit peed off to be honest uh, I ordered the camera 15 days ago. I'm still waiting on it. Not really acceptable. Um, now they know they made a boo-boo and they've offered to uh, to make up for that fact. But, you know, at what point do you say enough is enough and just I want my money back and I'll order it from somewhere else. I'm kind of weighing that up. I've sent them an email there uh, about an hour ago wanting to get an ETA. So we'll see how that goes. So that's going to put me in a bit of a little bit of a bad mood because I kind of was hoping to have a camera unboxing to do today as well for the vlog um and that was going to be today's vlog with the camera unboxing i haven't got the camera so i can't unbox it and do any of that so um puts me at a bit of a loss i don't really have anything vlog or blog wordy today at the moment um all my content is out there paul was doing the email today um i do need to work on next week's content um but as i was saying yesterday that might mightn't be a factor so um yeah I, I'm, I'm going to jump in to meet edgar um and i just want to have a look at some analytics and just see if i can look at how our tweets are performing and which ones are working which ones aren't and maybe see if i can extrapolate some data that's going to point us in the right direction as to the types of updates that are resonating with our audience and also maybe it's some of the hashtags that we're using that are working um, so i'm going to have a look at that i don't know if i'm going to have anything to report back on i may be nothing i don't know i'm not even sure what the reporting features are like because i've never really used them i've generally just programmed our stuff to go out and it goes out and then we look at the traffic sources from google analytics not necessarily directly from edgar now i know i can click on an individual tweet and see how many times that tweet's been published and how many clicks and stuff but i'm wondering will it give me a full breakdown of everything we've ever sent and what's working well and what's not so i'm going to jump in and have a look at that and i'll come back and let you know what i can glean from it or if there's anything of any benefit and um, right so i had a look at the uh, reporting software on edgar and unfortunately, it's really not that good. Um, unless you're using Edgar's own link shortening uh, tool, they don't really give you a lot of metrics. So I ended up looking at Rebrandly and uh, I've signed up with them and I'm gonna start changing our link shortening with Edgar over to them. And at least hopefully from now, we'll be able to get a better idea of how our content is performing across the various social channels. Now, when I say various, I kind of mean Twitter and Facebook really. Um, because that's all we schedule from Meet Edgar. So yeah, I was a little disappointed with that, uh, that I can't get more metrics really. Now I can go through Bitly because that was the link shortener we were using, but I find Bitly's link reporting is just terrible. Um, so I'm just not gonna do it, uh, is the bounds of it. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Oh, uh, I've also moved. You recognize the whiteboard? Can you recognize the Paul? I was bored as well, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, so yesterday, Paul, you finished up by telling us you created four products and you were gonna give us more detail, but uh, you didn't. Why not? I was, I was making it up. I had nothing to add, <laughs> so I thought I'd better say something. Of course I wasn't making it up. There are four products and they are now live on Content Academy's blog. The first one is our 30 minute blogger mini course. That is of course free. 
so it is a product the same effort has went into that as goes into the other services so that's why uh, it's there so if you're not planning to spend you can actually go through that and then hopefully at the end of it if you've actually got some value you might think you know what i'll invest in some of the others so the other three are very simple simply this and uh, one is a blog and social media audit and what that entails is us having a look at your blog, assessing it, all the content, how it's laid out, how it reads, the call to actions to make sure there's a consistency there. And then also looking at your social media brands, be that Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere else, and kind of seeing if there is a consistency there, then how often do you post on your blog? How often do you update your social media? How often do you, you know, interact with followers? Uh, and a whole lot more we kind of break down into detail of that so at the end of it, you you essentially end up with a document which is bespoke which kind of says well look here's what we found here's how you're doing things this is what you could do to actually improve here's our changes here's recommendations here's some software that maybe you could look to utilize as well along the way so it kind of is nice because very rarely do we actually turn around and take a look at ourselves and go well, well what are we doing what's good what's bad and it's a kind of gives you that ability to kind of recount and go okay that's where we are these are some quick improvements that i can make to my blog great i'll go and do that some of these others that they might take some more time if i'm redesigning the site well perhaps that's going to be a bit more work but i can put that to the side and know that yeah that is something that i should look at so that will be the the blog audit um mark two of the 30 minute blogger it's in progress we're still working on that Phil's working really hard. He's doing everything for that. I can't wait to see the work that he's produced. Um, it is essentially going to help you make the most of your content that you already have in existence. And that is what that's focusing on. So we're looking at launching that in July. You can sign up to join the waiting list. Uh, people who sign up to join the waiting list, they will of course get earlier access to it. They will get it at a better cost. There's no question of that. We will have a beta testing going on for a period of time to see how the content works and get the first i suppose bunch of people through it and that is something which you can join the waiting list as i've said on on 30 minutes or well i suppose on content academy and then the final piece is one-to-one -one coaching and this is very very simple we will take you for 90 days uh, and coach you to go from maybe kind of being in the doldrums a little bit lost with your blog to actually having a blog which sets goals and achieves those goals at the end of the 90 day period. So, I mean, what does it, what, what's in, what will, I suppose, it be included? There'll be initially, I suppose, a discovery call to actually see if you're the right candidate and if one-to-one -one coaching makes sense for you because you will need to have time. You will need to be focused on it and commit time over a weekly basis to work uh, you know, on your blog and toward your goals. So if, if you don't have the time, forget about it. A lot of free content that can be consumed here and there and that's maybe the way to go or jump into our facebook group the other thing is you will need budget it's it's not going to be a, a free service as such because obviously you know we're not in the position to be able to give free coaching out to the masses so if you don't have a budget to put towards your coaching well then it's not time to do coaching and that's as simple as that and look it's not necessarily a bad thing everybody isn't ready for coaching at the start so if you say yes to those two things and it does make sense um, we'll, we'll have the assessment conversation where we establish that then we'll be looking at your goals we'll be looking at planning and we'll be helping you define what they are and from that then we will have those goals set out over the 90 days what are we going to look to achieve and we will have every two weeks a short 20 minute call to actually go through well you know how have the last two weeks been what have you achieved what have you struggled with and you'll then be able to, we'll be back and forth on emails. So there'll be three to four emails per week where, you know, you'll reach a point and you'll be kind of going, well, I need an answer on this or I'm, I'm stuck on that. What would you recommend? And, you know, we'll provide the guidance. <laughs> We're not going to do work for you, but it is a case of going, well, we've met these challenges before and actually you could do this or you could do that. And then as we go, go through it, yes, there'll be a Facebook, uh, you know, group, which will have a couple of other people. We'll only have kind of probably two or three people being coached at a time. So it is going to be quite um i suppose small numbers so in that group again there'll be a little bit of interaction with us uh, and as as we go through we're just working our way through the cycle until you come towards the, the end of it and you've actually you know i suppose realized and achieved those goals and uh, you know that, that that is essentially what the, the coaching piece is for so they are the i suppose four products that we uh, well we've been kind of working on in the background and i took um oh someone turned on a hose 
I basically decided to go and put them on the website. Um, so they're now available for you to kind of show your interest, sign up for them, um, and then we'll be in touch uh, over the next couple of weeks. And as I said, people who sign up first, they're gonna get the best deal. That's just the way it works. So, right, so hopefully that gives you an idea of the four products that uh, Paul has now put up on the site. I'll leave a link in the, uh, in the description below. You can check those out. And that's about it. It is quarter past eight and I have to go to work. And uh, Paul, well, Paul's just gonna sit here with his lovely flip-flops. Nice flip-flops, Paul. Good. Have me on as well, I'll get you fair. Not really my style. Anyway, that's it from me and that's it from him. And uh, yeah, we'll check you out tomorrow. Get the fuck out of here, Phil. <laughs> Aww, I'm out. Bye, Paul. Bye, Paul. Yeah, get the fuck out. <laughs>